What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, back again with another Pokemon Switch discussion video. Now today, we're gonna be discussing the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Pokemon Switch title quote unquote real leaks leak i say real leaks leak because this is straining from a person on i believe 4chan leaked basically on april 1st so again take that with a grain of salt they posted up this basically saying you know what the pokemon switch games were gonna be based on and, and a little bit of stuff we're gonna dive into it in a second but i want to dive into the the name first the let's go Pikachu let's go Eevee do I think it's real do I think it means that we're getting something with these titles on the Nintendo switch and my answer is gonna be yes and the reason why I say yes is because of one person taking this leak quote-unquote seriously and that is Sarah and Joe Merrick because of the fact that it is up currently on Cerebi.net with the title that it's an unconfirmed rumor, so do take it with a grain of salt, but the fact that Cerebi is discussing a quote-unquote rumor, this is unheard of. They usually never talk about rumors unless they're got some backdoor shady deals confirmation or there's something that's leaked that's super obvious that it's real, that it's confirmed. They never cover anything that this weird on the fence. So the fact that they're covering it leads me to believe that if anything, these are spinoff games and they are real to some extent. Do I think these are the Nintendo Switch games, the full blown RPG games? Shit, I hope not. Not with fucking the names Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. And hell, if we do get those, I'm team Pikachu all the way. Um, let me know which one you be getting in the comment section below. Again, if these are real. Do I think with these art, do I think it looks real? There's been people going back and forth that yeah, it, it could be, and no, it can't be. I have I just read an article on Polygon with them saying it looks real hand-drawn. Again, with it being a leak, that is possible, but we would have seen a more professional job done with the art. But then we also seen people like Pokey Serena, um, who is a person that on Twitter and YouTube, I'm gonna have her stuff linked in the description below, that goes over leaks and stuff all the time, and she's definitely one to look out for for debunks of fakes and stuff like that because she knows the language and can debunk it very easily she can tell when something is off or not translated correctly and she's agreeing that these are pretty spot on that these do look clean and do look official so with her eye and with Sarah B covering it I'm led to believe at least this part is true. At least that there is a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee in the works. That there is something to that sediment. There's something to these titles that is true. Whether it is the Pokemon Nintendo Switch game RPGs, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the fence. Again, I'm down for it. Especially with all the signs pointing to a quote-unquote Kanto remake or reboot or whatever. I'm down. I'm down. Let's deep dive into this though. Let's deep dive into this quote unquote real leaks post that this is kind of stemming from. As you can see, Real Leaks posted this on Sunday, the 1st of April 2018. So again, take that with a grain of salt. The fact that we got Pokemon leaks on April 1st, <laughs> like immediately I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to end the video right here. But again, with the let go being prominently right here on the top, right under where it says, quote unquote, it says real leaks, dot, 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 let's go, semicolon. And the second point, it says two versions, Pikachu and Eevee, but doesn't expand on what that could mean. It does leave me possibility like, oh my God, does that mean it's let's go Eevee? Let's go Pikachu? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, to me, it's just, it's too convenient that it lines up. Maybe an artist read this and kind of spun it in their own right and, you know, 
came up with this title based on what this person had posted. Been we've seen that happen before in the past, but I just it just I don't know. It's just something about it is just not like this is weird. This is unord. This is this is unnatural. It just feels like there's something wrong, but then something right about this. If you, if you understand what I mean, let me know in the comment section below if you had that same feeling. Now let's go over these bullet points under Let's Go. It says a yellow remakes for Switch. How do I feel about them remaking Yellow? This would be the first time they are remaking Yellow because. I mean, technically only remade the red and blue even though we played Kanto we played the storyline time and time again will I want a yellow remake yeah to me yellow is probably one of the greatest Pokemon games of all time that is up to debate depending on who you're talking to but I would put it up there as one of the greatest hell yeah do it needs a remake for Nintendo switch I'm not saying no but if I wanted them to do a yellow remake I would want it more of a yellow remake imagining where they took the base game of Pokemon Yellow and times it by a thousand. I want them to make new cities, add new buildings to cities, to towns. There's no way Pallet Town, if it's still around, is just a two house place. And if it is, then it needs to be fully fleshed out. Like that needs to be just a little small town in a huge world. They need to be like seven other towns that are like that. And then huge busing cities, like, you know, with, you know, streets and cars passing by. Like I, there's, there's no, I, I, maybe I'm crazy, but there's no way that I can see them just taking the layout of the Pokemon Yellow game and just throwing that in a nicer engine and calling it a day. I would want them to go all out and add cities and add stuff. Now you're saying, yeah, that's breaking the lore of Pokemon. Well, that's that that comes with it. I would want them to do what they did with the Pokemon movies as making it a retelling of Pokemon Yellow or, you know, the first game. As in making, taking the idea of the first game, but then adding Pokemon from the Alolan region inside of Kanto that we are able to have a lit in, in the game. You are able to go out and, you know, catch Pokemon from different regions inside Kanto. That makes sense. That would have been there if they weren't just made in different generations again. Not to say that we need to see all 800 Pokemon in Ultra Beast and all that what I would want them to do is take a definitive number stick to it and polish the shit out of those Pokemon because if you think about it there's no I, I can guarantee you there's no way day one we're getting Pokemon bank and you could transfer every Pokemon over and you know and it looks running on the new engine or whatever the fuck it may be there's no way that's gonna happen I think it's gonna take time for them to kind of update the engine to handle each Pokemon on, especially some of these dope looking fucking legendaries. I don't think that day one we're gonna have Rayquaza on the screen flying about and looking beautiful as we would want it to inside of the Pokemon Switch game. I think there's gonna they're gonna they're gonna need time to redo it. And to think about it, if you were gonna have to redo every Pokemon, why not start with the base, you know, 150, get those out, polish those first, and then add and build and you know, build upon those. Do I like that idea? No. <laughs> but I think that's going to be the direction they're going with again if this are true it says two versions pikachu and eevee um hmm, how i feel about that kind of don't like that idea because then that would mean what that would mean that if you pick the eevee version you're gonna start with eevee and vice versa if you start with pikachu that's your starter pokemon now mind you we did have that for yellow and that did work and it's still one of my favorite pokemon games of all time because you were able to get charmander you were able to get bulbasaur and, and squirtle very early on in the game so am i too scared about that not really because i do know that they know that the starters are iconic they're gonna add the starters no matter what to the game in some formable way 
or fashion hell. Maybe there's going to be places in the world where you can catch Charmander or you can catch Squirtle, you can catch Bulbasaur. I think that would be incredible. That would be dope. Kind of weird that they're not going to be starters, but if they are catchable in the game, I wouldn't mind it too much starting with Pikachu, to be honest. I just think it would be a bitch fighting Brock first, if that's the case, if that's going to be the role we're going to head down. Now, it says red and blue play a role in the story and you and your right are our new trainers which will kind of make sense for reimagining if they want red and blue to be definitive characters kind of like how they were in ultra sun and ultra moon or in sun and moon where you met them in the battle tree and you had a chance to battle one of them and i thought that was a cool idea cool implementation to throw classic characters inside of the pokemon games i remember back in the day playing pokemon gold and heading to mount silver and battling red for the first time blew my fucking mind and i died and i i didn't know what to expect and that blew my mind and to think about them reusing that idea over and over again that kind of gets whacked but if they playing a role in the story and they're not your rivals they're just again bigger plot points in the story i could see how maybe that can work and how maybe again i'm excited i would be excited either way i love red i love blue to see them again in a brand new pokemon game with a story based around them sounds dope to me sign me up it says follow pokemon return that's like in heart gold and soul silver pokemon follow you i think that would be dope again it does lead me to the idea that maybe not every pokemon will be able to follow you depending on how this game is actually going to look i think it will be kind of impossible to have a giant snorlax you know running behind you if they are going to look to size and to scale i don't know how that's going to work exactly but i am excited to find out tell you that hm still replaced with the pokey ride from aloha now i love that idea i think the hms were kind of a limitation of the times and you know they they needed a way to gatekeeping you in certain areas Areas until you did certain stuff to bypass in the story, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of makes sense. I mean, Pokey Ride kind of does that too. You don't start the game with Surf and, you know, with the Surf Ride. So it does does that anyway. But I do like the idea of me being able to have a full team of Pokemon that I can trust and not just being scared when, you know, all my Pokemon die and I have to throw on my HM Slave. That kind of is the worst feeling in the world. It says an online has as a hub for players now that's one thing that is so lackluster with the pokemon 3ds games is that the online functionality and how we connect and communicate with each other online is very bare bones and it feels like a giant menu now i'm one of those people that do not like the pokemon plaza the festive plaza whatever they want to fucking call it inside a pokemon sun inside a pokemon ultra moon i don't like it. I jump in there just to see if I need a GS, GTS trade somebody. If I'm going to battle somebody, I jump online. If I'm doing an online battle competition, I jump online. But I do not use it because I like using it. I think if it needs to be a place that I do want to check in every day to see the global mission and see if we accomplished it. I do want it to be a place where I can jump online, maybe see other trainers, maybe, you know, run around and talk to trainers and see a trainer put up a post like, yo, I'm looking for a Pikachu, just like, you know, GTS is. And, you know, kind of see that happen live rather than just see it happening in menus. It's just my thoughts of me seeing it liver would make a great deal to how the game will perform to me anyway because you know even destiny a chat room where you can shoot motherfuckers and i feel like pokemon needs it to be a they need to have a chat room where you can battle other people's Pokemon, where you can trade other people's Pokemon, where we can chat and talk to each other. Now, mind you, we are talking about the Nintendo Switch where you have to use a phone as a voice app thing or whatever. But, you know, we can get around that. We can use Discord. We can use Skype. There's other things we can use to get around that. But please, like, come on, make the hub lit. 
Like, make it dope. Don't give us the fucking plaza again and call that the hub. Now, the one that everyone is fucking going crazy for is the Pokemon Go integration. And when I see that, that they're going to be integrating Pokemon Go into the Pokemon Switch game somehow, what I think immediately is HeartGold, SoulSilver, the Pokewalkers. That... You can put a Pokemon from your game inside of a fucking walker, walk around, and it can grow level. I don't see why not do that for Pokemon Go, where you can take your Pokemon, say for example Charmander, you throw it into Pokemon Go, you walk around, you find candies, it levels up, you throw it back into your Pokemon Switch game, you have a Charmeleon that you evolved by just walking around in the real world. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that it would be a dope feature. How would it actually work and run via the games? Are we allowed to bring Pokemon that are not caught in the Pokemon Switch games over to from Pokemon Go? Are we allowed to bring Pokemon that are not in Pokemon Go into the Pokemon Go world via this way? To me, it's a lot of like cross tapes and wires that seem kind of weird and fishy, but I tell you one thing, Pokemon Go has gotten their shit straightened and if there's one thing that they would put Pokemon Go back on the map heavily is disintegration and I don't see why not. Pokemon Go makes tons of fucking money every fucking year every time they they do a you know yearly quarterly thing pokemon go how much money is still making is ridiculous and for them to continue to support it with the pokemon rpg games makes perfect sense it says catching pokemon works like in go as long as we still are able to battle the pokemon before we catch it and you know whittle its health down make sure it's on you know make sure it's asleep make sure it's easier to catch and then we are prompted with the throw pokeball option and then if we do use the touch screen and throw a curveball for example it betters the odds i think that would be pretty cool what i won't like if we are forced to do that i think that would totally suck if we're forced to do that um i would i would prefer it be optional and i think that's how it's gonna go i don't think they're gonna force us to touch the touch screen and to throw it or move the joy cons in a stupid way to throw the pokeball again i would hope that it's optional that it does that and i think it would be pretty cool to battle the pokemon and then the pokemon is like trying to run around and you try and throw the pokeball at it i still think that would be pretty cool that's something i wanted in pokemon go like a reason to put your pokemon to sleep before you capture it so it could be sitting there i think it's pretty cool again it says rewards in the game in go for linking together duh if you are going to be able to link your pokemon go and your pokemon switch games together why not give rewards vice versa to pokemon go vice versa to the nintendo switch i think we're going to see outfits come over from your pokemon go we're going to see outfits come from the pokemon switch games i think we're going to see tons of stuff like that maybe some bag iteration we just seen a bag upgrade come to pokemon go today i think they maybe do some stuff where you can hey you you want to transfer this Pokemon over to your Nintendo Switch game and you can save it that Pokemon in the box and then if you want to bring it back into Pokemon Go you can at a later date too. I could see it working but do I want it to work? It's a different question. Now we got a little bit more to go over. It says new accessories can be used with both Go and the games again which makes sense if they are making a way to transfer the Nintendo Switch Pokemon into your Pokemon Go. Even though they probably could do that via bluetooth or via the nintendo account via facebook via twitter they can link accounts that way um but this sounds like again a pokey walker or pokemon go plus type of deal so not too crazy um announcement soon releasing this year well duh <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, we're getting an announcement soon. I think we're going to get an announcement before E3. Releasing this year is still kind of up in the air, but I, 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 could, I would bet on it that they want to release this year anyway. That That's probably the rumor that's going around that it's going to release this year because they want it to release this year. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Nintendo Switch titles, do you think it's real? Again, I think it's real. I just hope that it's not. I really hope these in, 
these isn't the names i really do like the list of features that are coming to the pokemon switch games with the pokemon go stuff i, I think it's okay do i think it's all just bullshit well of course i do it was a rumor that got posted on april fool's day but let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And like you guys been doing, you can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these Pokemon Switch discussion videos. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to check out more. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Switch discussion video.